What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we had a lot of stuff done. We actually completed the special request for Gunther to get like a bunch of bones, and as a reward, we got the bone mill up there. I'll show you guys that here in just a bit, but it looks like I didn't water my, uh, all, all my cacti last night, so let's so water them again real quick. I really want to move these over to like the uh, other side of the greenhouse so I don't have to water them manually all the time, but either way, uh, and there's Penny right there, but yeah, there, there are the bone mills we got last episode, and we can put like extra bones or even extra random bone artifacts inside of that, and we get random fertilizer just like that. We got 10 quality fertilizer, 5 tree fertilizer, or 10 quality fertilizer twice, and then 5 tree fertilizer. Ferti Golly, I can't say the word today. But you guys can see right there, we got some pretty good stuff, and we have some spare bones to put inside there to uh, continue processing in the bone mill, so we have some there. We even have a skull there, so I guess we'll put that inside there and see what we get. And it does five bones at a time, so, uh, okay, there you go, cool. We can process three more right there, and if we want to get more bones, we just need to go down to layer 70-ish. Uh, there you go, there you go, and there you go, in the mines, just like we did uh, to do that Gunther mission in the first place, right? Oh yeah, just looking at my notes right now, it does look like it's going to be Caroline's birthday today. I guess we'll double check that. Where's my heckin' coffee, by the way? I put that up or did I run? I must have ran out or something like that, but let's see. Yeah, there you go. Caroline's birthday is today. Let's see if we know anything that she loves. We know she loves fish tacos, which we don't, we've don't. we never made before, apparently. I don't know if that means, that, do I have the recipe for that? I don't know. I, I guess we'll check. If we, if we don't have any fish tacos or anything else that she loves, we can give her bok choy, daffodil, parsnip, or tulips, and 131 other things that she likes, so that's good. So, And then she hates a bunch of stuff, just likes a bunch of stuff, so I don't know, maybe that number doesn't sound, seem as big as it actually is, but... And then, yeah, tomorrow we're going to have the night market as well, I forgot to mention that on the calendar there as well. We'll, we'll have a thing in the mail telling us about it here in just a sec, but let's check them on the weather and whatever. Oh, whoops. Oh, it even tells me right there on the weather right there. So it's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow, perfect weather for the festival. Oh wait, festival of ice! That event is going to take place in the forest between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, wait, no. Night market's next week. Wait, hold on. I must be, like, super confused right now. But either way, I guess the thing you get in the mail is going to be about the Festival of Ice. Anyways, so we have that to look forward to next, or, I don't know, later this episode, next episode, I don't know. But anyways, check up on the luck. Uh, golly, I am just all over the place today, and the spirits are somewhat annoyed. Golly, I don't blame you, spirits. Let's see what our loving wife has to say. Are you on entered a fishing contest? Oh yeah, this is the one where you're fishing in the ice ice holes. Yeah, I think Pam won last year. I don't think I won, but hopefully I can win next this year, right? But I'm like we've been doing pretty well in that. Uh, I forget what it was like during the summer. There's or was it the fall? I forget some sort of fishing game that we did, and I did pretty well during that. Uh, but anyways, let's see if we could uh, get anything that we like, like fish tacos for Caroline. If not, we can give her uh, parsnips or bok choy or whatever. Right? But let's see if I can find fish tacos on here. And if I can't, then oh wait, no, there it is. Yeah, okay. Red, we have that. We need mayonnaise. We can get that in just a second. Tortilla and tuna. Do we have tuna? And if we don't have tuna, when? Can I, obviously you get it out in the ocean, right? But oh, we got worms right here. Yeah, I get this last episode, and it was uh, yeah, rusty spur. Okay, it's the same thing there. Dear Waffle, tomorrow we're all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. It's a celebration of winter. There will be snowmen, ice sculptures, and ice fishing competition. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to participate, Mayor Lewis. Okay, yeah, not the night market just yet. That's going to be next week. And as you can see, Robin's still working on our house. We have her upgrading the house to tier three, I think, right now. So that's going to get us the wine cellar and all the kind of jazz as well as oh yeah what about the yeah, 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 i was going to look at the tort or uh, tuna over here we can, we can get the tortilla here in just a bit whoops that's wrong with this one right here do we have the salmon let's see if i can have i don't think i have any tuna here unfortunately i'm organized there you go okay it looks like it organizes this in alphabetical order which is good but i am not seeing yeah there's no there's no tuna it goes from s to t i t i and then w there so no tuna there unfortunately but if i wanted to get some tuna when obviously where i get it is the ocean but Okay, so during the winter time, it has to be Ginger Island just all over right there. Man, well, I could get it in the summer on the beach, but I can't get it during the winter time unless I'm on this Ginger Island place, unfortunately. Man, well, I guess we can't get her fish tacos. I guess we'll give her, like, bok choy or parsnips or whatever it was that she likes. But anyways, let's go check them on our animals in here, pet them, as well as grab the cheese, or, you know, start processing cheese, as well as grab it and put it inside of our uh, temporary storage. Or whenever we have the wine cellar, I should have grabbed some milk or uh, some uh, triple shot espresso while it's inside the house because I'm moving rather slowly right now, unfortunately. And it is Sunday, so we can go uh, visit the traveling merchant, see what she's selling. Hopefully, she has uh, batteries and whatnot. We can actually finish that heckin' mission from Willie finally, right? And you guys even said uh, last episode, or like last week, like two episodes ago by now or something like that, that the gift like thing gets reset on Sundays. So I guess we can start gifting a bunch of people with some random uh, stuff like extra parsnips, bok choy, and all that kind of jazz, right? Alongside Caroline, so. 
Hey, let's just go grab some of the triple shot espresso, because golly, do I need it. I need to get my morning started. Oh, hey, you know what? Uh, I don't know where Penny is right now, but she does like artifacts. I mean, I guess I can give her a uh, rusty spur. That'd be pretty good. And I did get a comment from someone saying I missed out on one of these kegs. That one right there, man. All right, well, let me put a star fruit inside of there real quick. There we go. Okay, we're good now. Don't worry about it. I guess we missed out on about 12 hours of uh, processing right there, but whatever. Uh, I didn't even drink the heckin' coffee. I got the coffee. I didn't drink it. <laughs> there you go. Let me let me continue checking up on all this other stuff real quick, and we'll see what the uh, traveling merchant has. Whoa, we got purple mushroom in here. That's good. I can make more life elixirs. Got some more rows. Spook fish row right there. Awesome. And nothing happening in here, except for some empty plots that I need to fill up sometime soon. But anyways, yep, there you go. Yeah, you know what? I need to start to... Uh, Break down some of those trees over there again and, you know, making even more room in preparation for us uh, springtime sometime here in the future. But when are all the cheese going to be done? An hour and 30? Yeah, uh, it's going to be a little while from now. And you know what? I do have some of these extra tree fertilizers right here. Uh, you guys did tell me in the comments and I did figure it out on my own as well that uh, these will grow if you give them tree fertilizers in the wintertime. So let's just give them to these. And I'm not seeing any others. I don't know. What about the seed right here? There you go. Cool. At least it kind of indicates, okay, that one has a tree fertilizer on it with that little bit of pink there. So that's cool. Let's grab some of the oak resin right there as well, and I guess we'll just head south to see what the traveling merchant has to offer this week. Hopefully something good, because I think we missed out on her on Friday. I think we're a little bit busy doing something, right? So, anyways, let's see what she has over here. Probably should have got on my horse, but whatever. Let's just see, what there's, uh, see if there's anything going on here. And then, of course, we have the ice fishing and all that kind of stuff. Look forward to tomorrow. Cherry saplings for 25 That's... Actually, I don't know. Is that any cheaper? I don't know. Bait vanilla villa. And then a rare crow. We already have that rare crow. Don't know if I want that. That's 25. That's a lot of money for a painting. Like, golly. But then again, when it, am I ever? I don't know. <laughs> I'm always like second guessing myself. Then we got a poppy right there. You lazy amps. Yeah, nothing too crazy here, honestly. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to spend any more there, unfortunately. And we do have bad luck today, but I'll still check through the trash cans like always. <laughs> there you go. Man, I forgot to get the uh, the presents. And uh, there you go. I need to go grab the uh, the parsnips and bok choy and whatever else. And we can give it to uh, Caroline for her birthday, as well as to just give to everyone else in general, because uh, all the gifts and whatnot should have been reset today. So that's going to be great. There you go. Yeah, we have a bunch of bok choy. Jeez. Or scroll. I guess I can sell that and then sell that to the fiberglass. Oh, yeah, iridium. Yeah, I guess we can sell these to uh, the scythe. I don't know if I could do anything with that. Uh, try and sell those to Willy, right? So, anyways, actually, hold on. The rabbit's foot, would that be a good one for Caroline? I have extras. Yeah, you know what? Let's give her that one, because you guys said rabbit's foot is, like, universally liked or like, loved or something like that, except for Penny. So, it might be worth checking if Caroline likes it or loves it. So, uh, let's go give her that for her birthday. Yeah, you know what? I was curious about what to... Yeah, he doesn't sell any actual seeds during the wintertime. Just random uh, stuff like this, and then, of course, fertilizers and whatnot, yeah. Yeah, you, you know what? You guys said I need to buy flooring and whatnot so oh yeah and then the catalog is 30,000 yeah you guys said if I get the catalog it gives you access to a bunch of stuff unlimited access to all wallpapers floors from convenience of your own home so why don't we do that we can customize our house a little bit more because last episode our house finally got upgraded to tier two or whatever or tier three I don't know which one it is but you know we have the uh, the nursery and all the kind of stuff and you guys were saying yeah I definitely need to customize the flooring and the walls and all the kind of stuff because it's still default so why don't we get this catalog? We get a 40. We got 90 grand. This is 30 grand. Boom. We got the catalog. All right. Well, let's see what we get out of that pumpkin juice. Why does he have that? That's probably because I sold it to him. <laughs> and then we got wallpaper. Ooh. A hundred for that wall. Hold on. Hold on. Decorates the walls of one room. So if I, if I buy this, I could turn a whole room into that. Or do I have to buy a bunch of those to fill up one thing? I th I'm going to do that. And I guess I'll buy this flooring right here, too. I don't know if that was included with the catalog and I got scammed right there, but whatever. <laughs> Let's see if Caroline's even in here. Is she in here? Uh, she is. Okay, good. Even George and... Wait, are they in, like, that prayer to... Oh, wait, no, she's up here with Abigail. What, what's going on here? Oh, well, Abigail's leaving. It was the previous owners who built the altar room. We aren't religious, but we let the other townsfolk use it if they want. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of random how you just have, a like, a church just in your house just all the way over there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's telling the same thing right there, but let's give her a rabbit's foot and see what she says. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. Hey, and she's at 10 out. Of, I don't know if she was at 10 out of 10 before, but there you go. Cool. So where is there? She is right there. Yeah, look at that. It worked. Awesome. We didn't get her a fish talking, but she likes the rabbit's foot. Awesome. Cool stuff. And then Abigail, you know what? Oh, yeah, she's already maxed out or whatever, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to give her a gift. There you go. What am I supposed to? What? Is that like one of the items that she doesn't like? Rare items that she doesn't like? Hold on. Bok Choy dislikes it, man! 
<sighs> well, it's like universally liked for like everyone else except for you, Abigail. Golly. Well, she's already maxed out. That's very kind of you. I like this. Awesome. See, he likes it. And I think... Didn't we just see that George and Evelyn or something like that are over here as well? They're probably over in the altar. Yeah, yeah over here, Kent. Uh, Jody and George. I guess Evelyn's not here. Thanks, says uh, George. Now let's see what Kent has to say about this. Hey, now, this is a really great gift. Thanks. Yeah, gold star uh, parsnips. Thank you. This really makes my day special. <laughs> just giving me a gold parsnip and you're like, wow, my day really turned around because of this gold parsnip that I just got. <laughs> oh, man. Evelyn, is she here? I don't know. I could just literally check that map. Yeah, she's not here, unfortunately. Man, or else I can't see her. She's like, oh, wait, she is. Holy heck. <laughs> she was like right over there. I did. Why is she over there? I've never seen her over there. But uh, let's give her the gold star bok choy. Boom. Oh, my. It looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Yeah, fresh. Even though it's in the middle of winter, that's a very fresh gold star bok choy. Let's just go over here. Let's check out that new catalog and... I don't know, maybe turn the nursery into that, like, fish room or whatever that is? So I'm curious, like I said, it says it turns a whole entire room into that, right? Let's see if that actually works. Well, then again, those are, like, dinosaurs. I like the dinosaurs. Let's do this room instead. So, uh, is this... How's this work? Oh, okay. So, yeah, since you can only see that wall right there, that makes sense that it just changes that wall. Okay, interesting. Let's do the same thing with the ground here. I'm not crazy about that, but hey, it kind of spices it up a little bit, and we did get some pretty good stuff from those uh, bones there. Some more uh, tree fertilizer I could use, as well as uh, Deluxe Speak Row, and 20, wait, 20 quality fertilizer? What? Why did I get so many? I'm like, I'm not complaining. Holy heck. All right, well, I'm going to go drop those off, but uh, yeah, let's get that catalog. So how's that work? Do I just have to, oh, you have to physically place it down? Okay, so uh, where am I? I guess down here. There you go. Okay, so these are free. Oh, palm trees? And there's the. F okay, so I wasted my money on that. Ooh, is this space? I'm getting that. Some more space right there. Awesome. Oh, yeah, and you guys said, uh. Oh, Robin's. I can't buy anything from Robin right now because she's working on my house. Uh, but whenever she's done, I guess we can go. Uh, you guys said those, like, house expansions or whatever were free. Oh, what is this? It's like a Stardew Valley, like, sky and, like, hills or plants or something. That is in. I don't know, maybe change the. I don't know if I change the kitchen to that. Oh, and this is what the... That's like the default of what the, uh... That room up there was. Ooh, look at these colors. Look, oh my gosh, look at the scroll bar right there. There's so many combinations. This is just wallpapers. These are flooring. Oh, wait, no, this shows all of them. This is flooring here, and this is all wallpaper. Intro, okay, well... Flooring, kitchen... I don't know if I'd change the kitchen there, because it's kind of a classic black and white tile sort of thing, but... Let's see if I could find anything here that would spark my interest. And yeah, th there's the flooring we have right now, so uh, definitely want to try and get something different from that. Oh, and that's the one that we just bought for that room up there, so... Uh, oh, you know what? It's kind of black and white, but like a, a blue tint to it, and this is kind of a, a reddish tint. What would, the, what would this look like? Instead of just pure black and white, what would this look like if it was like bluish tint? Huh! That's a little bit of color. I like it. I think I'm going to keep it there. Cool. Now, I'm curious what... I'm going to change our bedroom into the second space stuff here. And I know Penny's probably going to like, what in the world are you doing? But, uh... Ooh! What about this one? Ooh! What about this? Huh! You know what? Oh, man, I could probably change Penny's room as well. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Uh, let's see if there's anything... I, I guess I keep that in there, at least right now. I don't know. Uh, let's see if there's anything new for, like, say, flooring. That we could use for, say, the bedroom there. Uh, what about the little what flooring do we have in the living room? Same as the bedroom, so yeah, definitely want to try and separate those two. So if I was gonna change the flooring in the living room, what would it be to? Is there like carpet? I don't know if there's carpet, because we have wood floors right now. I don't know if, I don't know what carpet would look like. I guess is this carpet? This like beige looking stuff? Eh, I'm not it kinda looks like sand in Minecraft or something. <laughs> I guess yeah, you know what? If I wanted that, it'd look good with this, huh? Yeah, but. I don't want to have heckin' sand in my living room. <laughs> oh, I'm like, it is the winter, so hey, maybe it makes you feel more like summer if you have sand in the living room, but golly. That's not going to be permanent there. And we have, like, cobblestone and, like, hearts and stuff here. I don't know if I want to have heckin' cobble... Oh, we could have grass. That would work together uh, with that layout over there. I don't know, but let's do that for a meme. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> oh, we have more grass here. Uh, I guess we could try two different types of grass, huh? And then we have more space... So we could be space on the walls and space on the heckin' floors. That'd be crazy. That should probably be what the expansion room is down there. That'd be like my man cave, right? But let's see if there's any in the nurse. Okay, so there's like wood flooring, but it goes left to right, and it looks a little bit darker. Yeah, you know what? Let's see what that looks like here in the living room. Honestly, I like it. 
It looks pretty good. Still kind of want to change that. I don't know. What, oh, and the, uh, the, the, the what was it called? The Crystallarium just finished. So we have like blue fish stuff. Oh, you know what? What about blue wood? I don't know how that would look here, but it's better. It's better. It kind of matches the, the fish stuff that's going on back there, but uh, I don't know if there's any. Oh, and there's Penny right there. She's probably wondering how I'm going to ruin the living room walls here. I'm just like, right, but let's put some uh, put the star shards back up here. Actually, I was going to say, yeah, I guess I'll keep them and I'll sell them a little bit later, but let's see what the grass looks like. So this was like a darker grass. Oh, gosh, that's ugly. <laughs> that's even brighter. That's even terrible. Oh, my gosh. Penny, do not look at our bedroom over here. <laughs> Hold on. Is there anything I've got to change before she I can see it? Okay, what about this? This looks normal. Oh, wait, no, that's what she has. Well, she, I guess she'd like it then, right? But hey, you know what? I like it. And I, can I change the hallway right there? It's kind of a small little bit. Oh, wait, hold on. So this is a, this is another one. It goes side to side. That's not terrible. I guess I'll keep that for right now. I, I guess I kind of want to change that hallway right there. Let's get that dark brown that the living room has. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. So can I change this hallway right here? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So there you go. And then uh, I don't know if I can change the stairs there. I'm not going to change anything in the nursery, which by the way, you guys said uh, I have to do, I have to hold. Yeah, there you go. I can move the beds. But I have to do it with an empty hand. I don't know if I could sleep in it, though. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe a little bit later. Uh, maybe I'm rearrange that. But for right now, uh, with us literally having no kids, it's just kind of sitting there. So I, and no reason to mess around with anything there. But for wallpapers and whatnot, is there anything new I'd want to have for the kitchen? I think that's what that is there. As well as, yeah, living room and the kitchen have the same walls there. Is there anything else I could kind of spice it up a little bit? Add a little bit of color? I don't know about that, like, plaid or what. Ooh. How about that? How's that going to look? That's not too bad. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to keep that. I don't know if I'm going to have a, have that for the living or uh, the kitchen as well, or just for the living room there. That's not too bad. I like it. I guess I'm like brick or whatever there. Oh, <laughs> Joji. Hopefully I get some money for having Joji Cola like sponsorships right there. Golly, let's see what that looks like. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> just want to see what that looks like. And what is this? Like trees or something like that? I want to see what that looks like. And then, uh, ooh, like a cityscape or something there? Ooh, like vertical stripes there. That might be interesting for the kitchen. You know what? I like it. Kind of matches the bluish tint of the tiles, too. Not too bad. Now, what about this? Ooh, it's like you're inside of a tree or something like that. <laughs> you can't really see it too well, though, but... And then we got Joji Cola just advertisers right there. I, I guess we could keep that, uh... Which one was it? Was it this one? I guess we could keep it that one or the inside of the tree one, so... There you go. Cool. So did we change everything here at least once? Yeah, I think we did, except for, of course, the nursery, which I guess I'll just keep as what it is right now. Well, we didn't change anything in Penny's room. I don't want to change anything or else I get heckin' yelled at by her. So, uh, you know what, Penny? We've got a rusty spur. I think you like artifacts, so... Thank you. This looks special. Awesome! She did like that. Cool. So she's at... Oh, she's at 13 out of 14 now. So hold on. Where is... Next in 125 points. I don't know what... Like, that even... I don't know how to decode that. Like, how many times... How many more gifts do I have to give to her and all that kind of stuff? I don't know. Oh, gosh! It's 9 pit. Jeez! Well, time just went up a and by right there, like golly. Let's put up some of the extra fertilizer over here, because golly, do we have a lot? Of, we have 55 quality fertilizer now. Deluxe speed grow, we got a lot of that, and of course, tree fertilizer. It doesn't work on fruit trees last time, I uh, remember, so let's just go put those on the other mahogany trees over here so it can continue to grow during the wintertime. So we have the torches right now. Yeah, so I, I placed down some torches just kind of haphazardly because it was getting kind of late. But uh, So I can I could just put some down like this. I guess we put another one over here, just kind of light it up a little bit, you know, just because it is kind of dark. And, uh, like right here. There you go. Cool. As well as the nursery, too. Even though, you know, it's kind of weird to use heckin' torches inside of your own heckin' house instead of like light bulbs or whatever, right? But at least it's going to be nice and lit up, though. But uh, I don't know if I want to have torches inside of my own heckin' bedroom because uh, I'm trying to heckin' sleep, right? But I'll place them down anyways, as well as in Penny's room, too. Cool. Awesome. At least one by my heckin' thing over there, too. Oh, yeah, by the way, I moved my uh, award, like, right there, too. I, I still need to move all these. I don't know, maybe I'll move them down to that new room down there. Here's the bit, but for right now, this is what it looks like. There's Penny all the way over there. She's probably scared that there's open flames as we're sleeping, like, ten feet away, but whatever. I'm glad about that uh, catalog thing right there, because I guess in the long run, it would have saved us a lot of money from buying some stuff and being like, oh, wow, that's terrible. I wasted my money. Even though I did, literally did that for, like, two items that were already in the heckin' catalog, but whatever. Anyways, we got a little bit of money right there. I'm like, I didn't... I didn't sell any of the mayonnaise and whatnot uh, that's still inside the barn in the in the coop or whatever, right? So that kind of sucks. But whatever, it's day eight of winter, and today is the uh, night fishing or was it? No, festival of ice. So yeah, we're going to be fishing here at 9 a.m. I think 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. I think it's when the event happens, right? So let's definitely look forward to that here in just a bit. But uh, 
There you go. And yeah, look, look at how much different this looks. I, I don't know about the wallpaper here. I guess I'll keep it just for right now. But the, the floors, I like that. The floors there, the walls over there. I didn't change anything there. The kitchen I really like, and I hope Penny likes it as- Oh wait, what happened? Did it- did it, uh, the house get upgraded? Oh, it did! Oh my gosh, you guys! Awesome! There are like little kegs down there, let's go grab our stuff! So can I put the cheese in those kegs too? Yeah, look at all this. And then we have more cheese outside I need to go grab, hold on. Well, Robin's not here, but since Robin's not busy, and our house is now upgraded with the heckin' wine cellar, let's go get her to upgrade our, uh, expand our house for free to get that extra bedroom or whatever below our house and turn into a heckin' space room for me, right? <laughs> then I can put all my statues and stuff down there and not annoy Penny, right? All right, just took care of all the animals. Uh, let's go check up on the, uh, the, the shed over here. I don't know if anything is going to be done because we put a bunch of stuff in it last episode. Okay, well, some of the row is done, so I'll put some, uh, some of that in there as well as a pumpkin. So let's do that there and then the row there. Cool, so at least we're going to get a little bit of something there, but I don't know. Let's check down here. When are these going to be done? Two days, 22 hours. These are fresh, I think, right? Yeah, five days there. So I guess in two more days, we'll have some more wine to put inside the uh, wine cellar. But for right now, we have 12 pieces of regular cheese, four things of goat cheese, how many wine? 15 wine. This is amazing, you guys. Holy heck. Now, how many of these, like, kegs do I have, though? Let's see. So, I guess we'll put wine all in these. So, I have four left over. Uh, I have a lot of cheese. Let's put some cheese down here. Oh, whoa! Hold on. Ooh, hold on. It's It's got a gold star icon on it? Is that because it's the gold star cheese? The fel oh, Festival of Ice just started. Holy heck. Um, And can you make more of these things, by the way? Because there's a lot of room. I don't know. It says I can craft them. I own 132 of these casks? Hold on. That's not 130. That's... Hold on. Is there more in... No? Can I make more of those? Let me see. Oh, wait, yeah, there it is. Okay. Hardwood and wood. I must have just got that, like, like recipe or whatever. It didn't tell me, though, but... 20 wood and one hardwood. We can do that. Yeah, let's do that, you guys. Holy heck. Now, can I... Can I just grab this out of here? I guess not. I, I guess you have to wait until it's done, but what does it say? gold now use pickaxe to stop aging okay so i can get it back with the pickaxe so it's going to turn to iridium quality in seven days okay so because it's already gold quality right now we can turn the gold quality cheese to iridium in only seven days awesome well i'm glad that we've been taking care of our cows because holy heck their cheese is going to age in here and get like insane amounts of money but what about the wine Oh, oh my gosh it's what yeah you guys were talking about in the comments the last few episodes so it's normal right now 14 days on winter 22 is going to become silver. Gold is going to be another 14 days after that on spring 8. And then iridium is going to be double that at summer 8. Now, what is that even? Uh, let's see. I guess I have to look it up. Uh, I don't know. Star. Oh, whoops. Star fruit wine. So it tells me the price is here. So in two weeks, it's going to go from 3150 to 3936 gold each. And I put like, was it 15 of them up in there right now? And then another two weeks after that, it's going to go from 39.36 to 47.25. And then, like, another month after that, it's going to go from 47.25 to 63.00 at Iridium quality. I don't know. Like, that's a lot of time between that, you guys. But if we have a lot of these kegs, which I need to make, because I have a... I've been, I've been getting hardwood, of course, from, uh... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to wait until it's 9.30 right now. We have a little bit of time. Let's go grab some of our wood. Actually, we won't have to grab anything. Just use the workbench. It's already loaded in, right? Yeah. That's what we did last episode. Yeah, so we can make... I can make 19 more casks right now. I think, yeah, the thing holding me back is the, uh, the wood. I need to get more actual wood, which, hey, that incentivizes me to get down more of those trees over there, like I tried to say earlier. But there you go. So we got 19 more of those right there. Awesome. So we can put some more wine down there. I don't know how many we already have. Three rows of something, right? Uh, I don't know. What was that? Ten? So if I do... Oh, yeah, and then there's room up here, too. Yeah, look at this. So this is actually making... Now, I don't know what... There's got to be a... Uh, just like the shed, there's got to be, like, a very optimized layout for uh, having as many kegs and or casks in here at a time. Uh, but I have four more, so I guess I'll start left to right. There you go, cool. So that's all wine. I do have cheese over here, but it's only going to be in here for a short period. And the same thing with the goat cheese. It's already gold star, so it's probably going to be a week, and then it's going to turn into a iridium star, right? So, uh, whoops, clicked on myself right there. Let's see. So when's that goat cheese going to turn? Also seven days right there. Okay, not bad. Now, what about the regular no star goat cheese? So it's normal now. In four days, it turns to silver. In seven days, it turns to gold. In 14 days, it turns to iridium. So for the cheese, honestly, it's not too bad. And if I looked up goat cheese, cheese up here and see the differences in prices. So in was it four days, it goes from 560 to 700. Yeah, decent money. 
Then another three days after that, I think seven days in total, it goes from 700 to 840. Eh, not bad. Then another seven days after that, it goes from 840 to 1120. Eh, none too shabby, right? So for the cheese, honestly, I can't complain about the times, but golly, for the wine. Like, I know it's wine and all, but jeez, it takes a while. <laughs> and I do have more casks, so do I want to lay those down right now or... Yeah, it's 1040 right now. I guess I'll look up and see if there's like a really optimized cask layout here for uh, the, the seller. Okay, well, I'm already kind of, oh, wow. Oh, man, I'm now I'm seeing like multiple different designs. I don't know which one's the most optimi optimized. I'm even seeing images of people putting kegs in like the barn and stuff like that, golly. Now I see just an image of nothing but just kegs down there, so I don't know how you're supposed to walk around. <laughs> I'll try and show some of these pictures if I can find them again, but. Yeah, some of these are just rows of casks, which honestly isn't too bad. It kind of reminds me of, uh, so basically right now I can't do it because they put like two, two rows, kind of like we have in the, uh, the shed. Uh, I guess I could have if I just got rid of this, but we already have some right there going. So maybe in a week or so I could do this again. But uh, if I did that right there, this would be a row I walk on. So that means from here, this is where I could put some more kegs or casks, right? So yeah. Yeah, let's do this here. There you go. And then uh, when those are done in four days or whatever, one of those are done processing, we'll get rid of all the kegs in this. Wait, what? There you go. In this row. There you go. And then we'll... Uh, move them down to like say down here or something like that right so yeah just trying to get this optimal layout just like uh, I'm seeing in these screenshots and whatnot right there you go so that, that's all the kegs casks I have right now I don't have enough wood to get more stuff but uh 11 40 a.m yeah let me put some of the random trash up so we need to go down to what Marnie's area I think they said for the uh for the event so I guess we'll go down there and see what's going on around going on down there and hopefully we can actually oh wow a bunch of our mahogany trees actually grew right there you guys awesome those must I think those are the ones we gave tree fertilizer to at the end of last episode. Oh, and yeah, we don't get our horse down here, unfortunately. And yeah, there's ice sculptures with Leah and even Robin making an ice sculpture there. I don't know if these are any different from the ones we had last year, but yeah, Elliot over here, see what he has to say. I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? Yeah, I agree. Wish you good luck there, Elliot. You're gonna need it. <laughs> it's rare that Willie ever loses though. Oh yeah, Willie must have won last year, not uh, Pam, but I think Pam was the other person that was also fishing, right? Oh, ice, a beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impermanent, yeah. But it does make the perfect murder weapon, right? Ooh, the evidence just kind of melts away. <laughs> and then Robin, I'm sorry, but carving ice parapets requires my undivided attention. Yeah. Well, thankfully, you finished building my house whenever you, uh, before this event, so you could actually start working on this, right? Uh, and then we get the pig down there and the traveling merchant person. Thankfully, I have good money, so I, let's see what she has to offer today. Rare crow, I already have that. Tree of the winter. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put the tree up. So once it's that about, like, three, four episodes ago when winter first started, uh, let's go do that. Especially because I have the living room reorganized now. We do have room for it now. So let's do that. Frozen uh, Dreams Icy Rug. Winter Dining Table? You know what? Our kitchen is physically bigger now. Wall scones. Yeah, you know what? We should probably get some of these instead of heck of torches. So I just don't know. Oh, Winter End Table. Stuffing, pumpkin soup. I don't, I just don't know if, can I craft that? Like, is someone going to be like, why'd you buy that? You could literally craft it. Because I, I don't know about having heckin' literal torches in my own house, but then again, a sconce is just like three of them right at the same time, right? So, is that really any different? Yeah, I don't... Oh, well, then there's a lamppost, but that requires the batteries and stuff, right? So, I don't really want to do that. You know, it doesn't look like I have the option to do that. Unless I can buy the recipe from, like, Robin or whoever, right? Yeah, I don't know, but the winter dining table for 3000 to make, to make use of all that extra room, I guess... Yeah, you know what? Why not? We've had the same dining table literally since episode one, so... There you go. I, if anything, we need to make more chairs, but I could probably be the buyer and make more of them myself, right? But, and, uh, <laughs> talking to the pig. <laughs> and then Sam, hey, Waffle, are you going to enter the ice fishing competition? Absolutely, are you? Oh, not me. I don't know how to fish. We'll go talk to Willie. It's not hard to learn. Cold? Nah, I never get cold. Yeah, well, if you ask me, you're already pretty cool, Sebastian. <laughs> Welcome to the ice festival, or festival of ice. I don't know why I read it literally backwards there. The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Yeah, this is not what it looked like like five seconds ago. So you guys must have just like made this <laughs> literally today. <laughs> just let me know when you're ready to compete. Yeah, after we talk to everyone. So Kent, this is the first time talking to you during this event here. I like winter. It's peaceful. I agree. I think I said this before, like winter time, like in real life. If you go outside during like a snowfall, like it's so quiet and peaceful and stuff. It's crazy. How's winter coming along for you, Waffle? Oh, pretty good so far, not bad. Getting some nice rest, I'll tell you that much. 
The forest looks beautiful in the winter, doesn't it? Absolutely. And we got Shane out here and George Evelyn. If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. Well, hey, at least that's better than any other type of festival you may have in a saloon, right? Especially coming from you, Shane. So that's good that you'd rather have a pizza festival than, say, a beer festival. <laughs> Sounds like he's recovering nicely. Ruff, wife dragged me out into the cold for this. Oh, yeah? Would you want to see someone win the ice fishing competition? <clears throat> me, spoiler alert. So it's still going to be an enjoyable event there, George. And then Evelyn. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball in this very festival. Oh yeah, well this festival means a lot to you both then, huh, George? <laughs> he was a gentleman back then, and came over to see if I was okay. Uh, and the rest is history now, right? Then Maru, yeah, didn't she have a snowman last year and it turned into something? I forget. I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. Well, say, it's still a pretty good snowman there. And then we got Abigail with that wonky looking snowman. <laughs> What do you think of my snow goon? <laughs> well, I'm like, I don't I, I don't really have much to say looking at me, right? Dinosaur hacking pants, space boots, like Santa shirt and like a skull mask. <laughs> the snow is so cold, I can't feel my fingers anymore. We got Penny over here helping out Jazz making a snowman. Cool. Are you entering the ice fishing competition this year, Waffle? My mom's pretty serious about winning. That's what I was talking about. Uh, I remember Pam last year. I want to give him a carrot nose. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Every snowman needs a carrot nose, right? <laughs> Snowmen are okay, I guess, but I'm mostly looking forward to the spring. Yeah, I don't blame you. And it's, winter time's not for everyone. I guess winter isn't all that bad. Playing in the snow can be fun, right, Haley? Yep. And we got Pam over here too. I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Well, are you actually going to win? Because we got uh, literal professional fishermen in the form of Willie and myself entering this year. So there's some pretty stiff competition this year, Pam. And Elliot too, apparently. I don't know if he did it last year too. Willie's going to be pretty hard to beat though, yeah. He does this kind of stuff day and night. And me too. Although not really that much recently though. Emily started helping me without any provocation. Uh, does that mean something? <laughs> it might, Clint. Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? <laughs> Never mind. I guess she just said it's so ugly she needs to heck and fix the snowman. Uh, anyways, let's go see what Vincent has to say. I saw a big fish down there. Well, I'm gonna catch it, Vincent. And we got Gus and more people down here. Sorry there's no food. Nah, don't worry about it, Gus. Just wait until the feast of the winter star. You'll be stuffed for days. Well, there is, yeah, speaking of stuff, there is stuffing over by the traveling merchant person, though. Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Uh, I think I'm pretty bundled up in this wacky outfit here, Harvey, don't you think? Oh, and have an enjoyable festival, or enjoy the festival. I don't know why I keep, like, reading things that aren't actually there. I feel bad for all the poor, cold animals out there. Well, they have fur and whatnot, right? So they're they're kind of built for this kind of stuff. And then we got Willie. Hey, Waffle, ready for some ice fishing? Yes, I'll do my best. Yes, then I'm going to beat you this year. That's right. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm like, I, 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 I hope I'm a little bit better at fishing than I was last year. So hopefully I could actually win, right? <laughs> especially after saying that. You know what? I probably should have worn a jacket. Yeah, he's wearing short sleeves shirt right there <laughs> during the winter time with snow and stuff around here. Now, did we talk to everyone? Because there's usually the wizard just kind of hanging out outside of bounds. You can't really see him. And there's a lot of area over here where it looks like there could be someone hiding. So the wizard and I'm like, you never really see the shadow. guy. Oh, we got Linus over here. He's kind of blocking off the wizard's area with his igloo. <laughs> did I ever? I must have missed him last year because I don't remember this. Igloo buildings, an art I picked up from the Tundra Dwellers who live beyond the frozen sea. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, at least you know how to build an igloo, but can you take one down because you kind of trapped the wizard over there? <laughs> that was many years ago. An igloo makes a nice home, but it's easier to just stay in my tent year round. Yeah, because at least the tent doesn't melt, right? <laughs> well, the wizard is over there, but yeah, like I said, he's kind of trapped, so you can't really see what he has to say there, even though it has a little uh, icon and that's kind of blocked off there as well, so you can't go to the spooky woods. Now, is there anyone over here on the docks? Now, why do we ice fishing over there instead of over here? Well, I guess because there's no actual ice here, right? So <laughs> it's all still just water. So I guess that's it, huh? There's no one else or... Yeah, because like I said, the dwarf and the shadow guy, they, they don't attend these events. There's a pair there. There's like a castle and a mermaid right there. Cool. Yeah, I think we're pretty good to go now, uh, Mayor Lewis. Are you ready to participate in the ice fishing company? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's see if we can actually win this time. I don't know if... Do we, do we get to use our better fishing rod that we had last year or, or what? All right, everyone. Let's begin this year's ice fishing competition. Oh, man, I forgot to put an attachment on my fishing rod now. I think about it, man. Uh, like I said, I don't know if you could actually use your own, but that would have helped if you could. Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes. You Okay, using the provided fish rods. Okay, so that doesn't even matter. 
You must catch your fish here from these holes in the ice. All right, so it's me, Elliot, Willie, Ham. And is that it? Well, is everyone ready? Yeah, it looks like it's just us. So I think there's going to be, yeah, two holes that are unused. So there you go. Are we going to get anything? Boom! Oh, and we got a hit. What's it going to be? Oh, it's just a, whoa, oh, oh, man, I missed out on a perfect. Ooh, now there's time. Oh, my gosh, I could have had it right there. Is time paused in the background? I don't think so. Yeah, it's not paused. Man, well, at least I got one fish right there, so that's not too bad. I don't think anyone's gotten any fish. I don't, I don't see any animations going on back there. Are people actually reeling in any fish, so I think I'm winning. Oh, wait. Oh, Pam just got a fish. I got a perfect right there, though, so that's good. Oh, Willie just got a fish. I saw that. Awesome. I don't know if uh, Elliot's got any fish. So I'm at two fish right now. I'm working on my third. Whoa! Look at this. Oh, now do you get to keep the fish or do they put them back at the end of the event? I think they put them back, right? Oh, we got, okay, we got third right there. Yeah, I need to remember, I'm, I'm, I'm like right next to the heckin' hole and the hole's small, so don't want to cast it out too far, right? Or I can miss and hit Maru in the face. <laughs> Man, I would, I don't know, take this out and put it in that hole. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got, okay, whatever. Let's try this hole right here. Might as well use it because we have two holes. We have an advantage right here. We can switch between two of them if we have bad luck with one. Although, it's not really working that well. Man, come on, why would I get any fish? Man, oh, there you go. Okay, at least it's an actual fish and not like algae or whatever. <laughs> so that's good. Whoa, I almost had it. And we're at four fish, awesome. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to stay here, but uh, there you go. get a little bit further away because I was like right on the edge there a second ago, so there you go. And we got 30 seconds left. I've got four fish. It looks like, I feel like Willie's in the, in the lead, man. Come on, I'm not getting anything. Oh, there you go. Seaweed again. Okay, I'm going I'm going back. Okay, there you go. I don't know if I should have. I should have just stayed. Oh, oh, never mind. We got a fish immediately. Guess that was a good idea to come back here, but this might be the last fish. I don't know if I have enough time to catch another fish after this. There's only 10 seconds left. Nine seconds left. I don't know if... Like, if I catch a fish, like, right now, is it still going to... Oh, oh, oh! I guess it does let you continue. Uh, one, and then time. Oh, man. Ah, you don't get to keep that fish at the very end. I, I could have had another one. What, I have four or five right now? I don't know. How many do you need to win against Willy, though? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, Mayor Lewis giving the news. Did I win or did I lose? Wow, that's a lot of fish. Yeah, only two minutes and caught, like, how many fish? Look at all the fish just pouring out of those barrels. Blech. The smell. Blech. I know, right, Mayor Lewis? <laughs> Now, the winner of this year's ice fishing competition is... Oh my gosh, is it gonna be me? Or is it gonna be me? Oh my god. Waffle! Oh my gosh, I won! With five big slimy fish. Hey! So I actually did, I didn't even eat that last one at the very end. Awesome, here's your prize and joy. Ooh, we got a lot of, we got a sailor's cap, we got another dress, we got a few spinner, what do you call them? Fishing tackle items, awesome. Magnet right there increases the chance of finding treasure. Yeah, I think we have the recipe. I think we have the recipe for all these, but I just never made them. Or uh, make some more security, causing the fishing bar to cling to your catch. Ooh! Although it says it works on weak, slow fish. This one uh, increases the bite rate when fishing. Not too bad, thank you very much. Huh. Well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks for coming, everyone. Eh, I had fun. Now let's release those. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, they're, they're probably just going to put them back. You don't get to keep them. But hey, I still won in the end, so eh, it's not like I really need those fish anyways, right? That's cool, I guess I'll change my hat to, what, what hat do I have right now, by the way? I forget. Uh, oh yeah, this mask. Yeah, we only had it for like an episode, so I guess I'll have this right now. Ooh, look at me looking fancy dancy. I like it. Anyhow, it's like 10 p.m. right now, unfortunately, but I'll go down here and grab some of the uh, the cheese that just finished up. And it is, uh, yep, gold star cheese, so a week, and that's going to be iridium star, and it's going to go up by like a couple hundred dollars, nothing too crazy. Now, I don't think you could put mayonnaise down there. That'd be kind of weird, but I guess I could test it just to see, because. Whenever we had the upgrade option from Robin, which by the way, yeah, because it's so late, we can't go to Robin and, uh, by the way, let me move the second plant. Yeah, do I have to get it with it? There, you have to get it with the pig. Let's put it in the corner over here. Or like right here, sure. And then, yeah, we got a new table too. So, uh, there you go. Put that, like, say here, at least temporarily. Get the bear, put it over here. There you go. Grab this thing and then grab the table. And let's put this new table. Oh, man. Uh, sure. Put it like this then. Oh. Why well, hey, look at the bears right there? We got a chair we could place down, say, oh, here we go. Like here, there you go, sure. And then uh, this other bear, oh, he's right here. Uh, I guess I'll put him like right here. Sure, there you go, cool. <laughs> so that's what that looks like now, you guys, awesome. 
see what's going on down here. Uh, so yeah, we, we have some more cheese, so I suppose we could put the cheese where? Uh, because I'm going to get rid of this row right here, so I guess, I guess I'll just do this. Awesome, so there's that, and then uh, whenever these are done, I'll, I'll get rid of those as well. But for right now, let's put the cheese here. So we could have two rows right next to each other, just like in the shed. So there you go, just kind of maximizing the space and all that kind of stuff. And the mayonnaise, yep, yeah, does not work, just like I said. Uh, so there you go, cool. And those casts that we just paid, where are they go? There they are. We could place these. So I guess, I think here, like against this wall is probably the best bet, right? So there you go. I don't know if there's any other, yeah, there you go. I don't know if there's any like better strategy to have them that isn't right up against the walls like that, but there you go, cool. So now we have a bunch of room down here. We have a lot of unused kegs we could use for more wine, like if we get more star fruit wine tomorrow or whatever, which I don't think they're done right now. I guess I could check, we have enough time to go check them on the farming computer and see what it has to say, like see how many machines are ready and whatnot, which by the way, Machines ready? Zero. Okay. Farm cave is ready though. I guess I didn't, yeah, I didn't check up on that today. Whoops. Uh, but I guess I could check up on that and the, uh, spook fish down there don't need anything. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I checked up on the greenhouse today though. So kind of want to see if anything happens either. If so, then whoops, I guess I missed out on some time passing, right? But we're probably going to end off the episode here in just a bit as well after I go to bed. So let's see. Is there anything happening? Oh yeah, just more coffee. Okay. Not too bad. There you go. Cool. Awesome. Well, let's just go to bed, I suppose. Uh, there's nothing else for me to really do right now, except for sell the mayonnaise, I suppose. Then, uh, go put the coffee up inside the shed. Oh yeah, and the tea- I need to put the tea set back as well, so sell the mayonnaise, get some money. Then, uh, these things I guess I'll put- So I don't- Oh wait, yeah, I do- I have the, uh, treasure, uh, thing, right? Hold on. What's it called? Yeah, the treasure hunter, yeah, to get more treasure. Yeah, so I guess I'll keep that for right now, at least until that breaks, I suppose. And then these other attachments I'll put up inside of there, like so. Cool. Awesome, and then we get the skeleton mask, too, so I I'll put that up, too. In the modern table. I don't know. I'll put that up too. <laughs> I need to have a chest specifically for furniture that I'm not even heckin' using. So 1 10 p.m. Yeah, let me go put up the uh, coffee real quick as well as anything else, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit when we go to bed. Alright, so it's 1 30. Let's put the tea set back on the table. Cool. So there you go. Awesome. Pet the dot. Oh, I guess I can't do it right now. He's asleep. <laughs> but there you go. Cool. So let's go to bed over here. Oh, let's go to sleep for the night. Then we'll end off the episode. I don't know if there's anything else happening today, but uh, all this stuff right here, speak for Tro and mayonnaise. Uh, not too bad right there. Cool. And we got 6,000 gold overnight. Awesome. I'm like, we spent like 3,000 or whatever for that table. So, hey, at least we're getting some of that money back. Day nine in the winter. Yeah, too. Anything happening today? I don't think so. Yeah, nothing happening today. But my steel trash can is ready. I forgot about that. Yeah. I gave that to Clint uh, not too long ago. Like last episode or something like that, right? So, yeah, some of the stuff we can put inside the trash is going to be worth more money now, right? So, anyways, let's see what Penny has to say. Oh, nothing. Okay, just hug, kiss her immediately right off the bat. Cool. I don't think I have any. Oh, yeah, I think I do, right? Uh, I, only, I only have two. Yeah, I don't have enough to do. Because you need five of them to put in there for it to process, right? So, yeah, I guess I didn't miss out on anything there. A decorative pole. I guess I could put that on the table, too. I don't know if uh, that let you. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like you could have multiple. On. It looks like you don't only have one, on, one at a time right there. Man, whatever. Uh... Yeah, that's, why is that even in this chest, by the way? That shouldn't even be here. <laughs> why do I have that still? I should have sold that to the Thieves Guild. Or Adventures Guild, not the... What am I playing? Skyrim? And then an arrowhead I can give the penny over there because she likes artifacts and whatnot, but... Uh, nothing else happening up here? Yeah, nothing else. What about Crystallarium? Can I make more of those, by the way? Because we we've only had one, like, ever. Uh, oh, yeah, the battery... But yeah, it is pretty expensive. 99 stone, 5 gold bar, but we have tons of that. 2 iridium bar, we only have, like, 2 or 3 right now. Then 1 battery pack, yeah. Still saving up the battery pack, so I guess it makes sense I haven't made any of those yet, but let's go outside and see if there's anything else happening right now. And of course we have more cheese to put down in the uh in the cellar, so that's gonna be good. But uh yeah, nothing else happening right now. Like, oh yeah, some of the preserves jars just finished up, it looks like. That's what that symbol is. Oh yeah, a bunch of them. Awesome. We'll worry about that next episode, because I'm just kinda ending it off right here. And uh spookfish don't need anything. Whoa! Spookfish don't need anything right now. Looks like they're good to go. There's seven of them in there right now. Awesome, we're doing fine. Well, Maybe next episode, they're going to require some other purple sort of item. And whoa, whoa, oh my gosh! You guys, we got oranges, we got apples, we got cherries up here, and I think... Is that peach? Or... No, that's April. Oh! We needed... A, yeah, we need to give this to Emily. We've had this for the longest time. Emily wants to taste a spring. She's asking for a fresh, fresh apricot, or apricot, whatever. And we got cherries up here, too. Awesome! Yeah, that reminds me. How many times have I said this? I need to buy more heckin' fruit trees and put inside of here. I've only ever done, what is it, spring there, summer here, fall, and then, actually, hold on, what, what are these? Hold on, I don't know. I'm, conf I'm confusing myself. I need to figure out which trees go where. 
<laughs> but hey, at least we got some new fruit right there, so that's pretty good. So we got the, we can finally do the apricot mission for Emily. Then we get to uh, reach level 100 in the skull count, golly. Then pay on battery pack, yeah. I could do that one right now, but we're saving up for the willy uh, tree thing. And then we got even more mahogany trees that just finished up, you guys. Amazing. Awesome. Well, anyways, uh, like I said, I guess we'll just end off the episode right here. Pretty productive episode today, and we even won the fishing competition. Got ourselves a cool new hat, so hey, I guess I can't complain about all the events that happened this episode, right? But, I don't know, something about wintertime, because you're not really farming or anything like that. I, I just feel like we're not really productive. At least as productive as we could be. Uh, you know, for other stuff. I'm like... We did get the wine cellar finished up and we put some of the wine and cheese up in here. So I guess that we got some good stuff going. And I guess it's a good thing that you can kind of physically on the outside see, oh, this one is now at Gold Star or whatever. So maybe in like two weeks, we'll see all these wine things turn to a uh, Silver Star. And then another two weeks after that is going to be or like another month after that's going to turn into the Gold Star. And then like two months after that, it's going to be like Iridium or whatever the time is supposed to be. Right. But yeah. And then, of course, we need more wood to make those in general. We have enough hardwood, though, especially with all those. uh uh, what are they called? Mahogany trees that just finished up. Just need to cut down more of the trees that are over here on this side of the basin. Hey, that actually incentivizes us to finally clean out all this and then make room of or make use of all this room just in time for springtime, right? So this is going to be good. Yeah, look at all these trees over here. What? Uh, I still have a golden axe. Uh, I don't know if I want to upgrade. Well, I don't have any iridium anyways to upgrade to iridium, right? I only have like two or whatever. And we're saving that up for uh, Willy, I think. No, we already gave him the, yeah, we already gave Willie the, uh, Iridium. I don't know if we're saving up the Iridium for anything right now, but, uh, we got worms right here. Yep. And we got a winter root. Yeah, we're, we're going to get a lot of that, and we still have that giant mushroom right there, so I'll, I'll probably leave that one alone. But, uh, yeah, you can see there's a lot of trees over here I'll need to cut down. I'll probably do that, uh, in the next episode or something like that off camera. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Wah! Sailor Waffle signing out. Oh, bye there.